Hey everyone, welcome to the first episode of Cooking with Chef Chris. Today is Vegan Soul Sundays, right? So what I want to do is every Sunday bring a vegan style dish, right? Because some of us are transitioning, I know I am. I haven't fully gotten off, I'm, I'm what you would call a 5 percenter, but I'm still trying to transition to a vegan style diet just to have a better lifestyle. So tune in today because we have JD style, that's Jack Daniel style, cauliflower wings, right? Cauliflower wings are blowing up right now in the vegan world. So I want to show you how I do a Chris Kyler style. I have a, a fried recipe to put on this that you're going to love. So tune in right now as we get started. All right guys, let's go ahead and make our Jack Daniels sauce. So the first thing you're gonna need is a small sauce pot. A pestle and mortar is great for this step. You're gonna take some roasted garlic and kind of grind it until you get a nice smooth paste out of the garlic. Uh, after that, you can go ahead and take the garlic and put it into your saucepan. And then we're gonna need uh, a few ingredients for the Jack Daniels sauce. You're gonna need about a cup and a half of brown sugar soy sauce we need some teriyaki sauce about three tablespoons of lemon juice you're gonna need some water about a cup and then you're gonna need about a cup of pineapple juice with pulp get your stove set to about medium high heat and we're gonna go ahead and bring this up to a simmer also add in some ground ginger and a tablespoon of olive oil and of course, you have to have that Jack Daniels whiskey. So we're gonna do about three tablespoons. I like to bump up the flavor um, for this recipe. And like I said, we're just gonna bring this up to a, uh, a rolling boil or a simmer, uh, and we're gonna reduce it by half. So we're just gonna sit this to the side and let it go. All right, guys, for the next step, we're gonna be doing a two-part batter. So for the wet uh, batter, we're going to start out with uh, some heavy cream. Silk makes a great dairy-free alternative to heavy cream. And what we want to do is actually uh, kind of replicate buttermilk. So you're going to use about a cup of heavy cream. Um, and we're going to grab some lemon juice. The lemon juice is going to act almost as a uh, culture. So you want to take your lemon juice. We're going to be using about two tablespoons. And you want to kind of add that in and just vigorously work it with a fork or a whisk until it becomes nice and thick and creamy. Next, Cholula. This by far is one of my favorite hot sauces to use. Uh, so go ahead and grab about a fourth cup. And we want to go ahead and mix this into our buttermilk. This is going to give it a nice flavor. Don't worry about the heat. This is like a nice back in uh, spice and seasoning to the, the chicken or the cauliflower. Um, so don't worry. Once you got it all mixed in, we're going to go ahead and start on our second batter, which is our flour. Also, make sure you stir your sauce from time to time, uh, making sure it's nothing sticking to the bottom. It's not burning. Uh, once it kind of gets to a nice rolling boil, go ahead and cut it down to medium heat and just let it continue to simmer. All right, so for this, uh, we're gonna need some black pepper. I'd say add about for three cups of flour. You wanna go ahead and add uh, about a tablespoon of each. So a tablespoon of pepper, a tablespoon of paprika. You want a tablespoon of salt, a tablespoon of garlic powder. And also you're gonna need some cayenne pepper to add to your JD sauce. So mix this thoroughly. Make sure you get all the spices blended well. And then we're gonna be adding in, once you get a nice rolling boil, uh, some shallots. So I like to do about a half uh, of a shallot. I'm just gonna mince this very finely. You can just go ahead and pour that in and let that continue to cook. Next, the star of the show, our cauliflower. So guys, we wanna go ahead and um, begin to cut our cauliflower. This is one of the best methods that I've learned over the years to just kind of start and cut the, the roots out, uh, get all the extra leaves, kind of break that apart from it. And we wanna keep this intact as much as possible because this is replicating uh, chicken wings. 
So you want to kind of make sure you uh, keep the, the roots intact. Um, you don't want too big or too small pieces, right? So we're going to use about sizes that are this big. And you want to kind of cut the stem. You don't want really long stems. My experience making this dish, I find that the batter doesn't really stick to the stems as well as it does the florette. If you have bigger pieces, you can kind of break them down a little bit into smaller pieces. Next, you want to make sure you rinse off your cauliflower really good. This is going to help the flour to stick uh, initially. So we're going to dip it in the flour one time. And then we're going to dip it into our batter that we made our buttermilk and hot sauce batter okay make sure you put out some just something to sit the cauliflower on while you're kind of taking it from the dry stage to the wet to the dry stage it's going to help you with organizationally and I also like to put some cornmeal on the flour uh, to add a little extra crunch right especially if you like corn flour battered uh, chicken all right so we're just going to dip Make sure you fully submerge the uh, ca cauliflower in the batter and, and just go ahead and dip it into the um, seasoned flour that we made. Okay, if you're gluten-free, there's definitely gluten-free options for this, so don't feel held back by uh, this being a gluten dish. Once you have it in the fryer, I like to use uh, vegetable oil for this. Uh, get your heat on to like 375. We're just going for that golden, that beautiful golden uh, brown color. Okay, have a, a plate and a towel nearby, paper towel, so you can just kind of drain the excess grease that comes off as we take the, the fried cauliflower out. And guys, we're almost finished. Um, you know, I like to make a, a nice, you know, jasmine rice to go on this. You know, I just use the the sauce from the JD sauce and just add a little soy sauce to make it really simple. So I have some jasmine rice here. You can put it in a rice cooker. Pretty simple to make. I didn't include that recipe. And you're gonna go ahead and take your fried cauliflower. And you see our JD sauce is nice and thick. It's been reduced. So you can go ahead and pour that right onto your cauliflower. And you just wanna add, so for some garnish, you can add some black and white sesame seeds. If you have some scallions, you can also add that kind of toss it be careful you don't want to knock all the uh, batter off and we are almost done just go ahead and plate it up Looks so delicious and it smells so good and, and very very flavorful so all right family that pretty much sums it up i hope you enjoy this recipe of this dish if you like it, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. I definitely will be posting more content. And this is just the beginning. See you soon.